Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 15 with Zombies Always Running, episode 113. In the last episode, we did a few little constructions for Reckless Daredevil 77, and I'll go and show you those really quickly now, just in case you missed what we did last time. So, you recall that in the sides of the uh, main walls of the castle in Castle 2, there was these uh, big holes over here. Now, I've gone ahead and we've gone and replaced these, and you can see now that if I open these up, we've actually got some doors which lead to some outside balconies like this. So we've actually gone ahead and built ourselves a little area where we can defend from. So there's uh, there's the uh, northern point of reckless defense, there's also the eastern point and the southern point as well, which go around these three walls. So I think if we zoom out you'll probably be able to see, um, maybe you'll be able to see them? I don't know. Um, you can kind of just about make them out on the corners there they're not really that clear because they're under the uh they're under the machicolation so it's a little bit hard to see where they are but you can see that this castle is coming together very very slowly but surely and overall i think we're doing pretty well on this thing so yeah, definitely very happy with how this uh, whole build is going. So uh, what we can use these for is, we, as well as the arrow slits now, we have these so that we can actually come out and see if the zombies are, you know, around the corner there or off to the sides, which is going to make defending the tower a lot easier. Now, if they do actually get too low, we can actually open this trap door. And we can go down here, and you can see that we can actually stay on this ladder and shoot, or we can actually go right down and engage the zombies in uh, full combat, which is really cool. So we now have uh, these all set up around this part of the castle. So we have one here, one on the eastern side, and one on the southern side. The western side, of course, is where the uh, gatehouses and the bridge are, so we don't really need one over there. But I thought we'd go ahead and do one over here. Now we also, if you look uh, over there to where that rock is, we also built that little thing right there. Now that is the escape tunnel that we built in the last episode so that we can actually get out of castle 2 very quickly if we happen to be um say if we're in the main area we can actually get out of this castle really nice and quickly so i'll show you how that works now up in the uh the main royal chamber over here we're just going to open this up here so we had this before in the last episode but what we did is we actually made the escape tunnel come from over here now i had to do a little bit of tweaking to get this to work but we managed to get it to come over here now one thing i want to add to that is a is a hatch if we can i don't know if we're going to be able to because of the block placement but hopefully we can add a hatch to this at least so that we can you know not fall down there it looks like we can yeah we can so we can actually add a hatch here so this is the reckless escape tunnel and if we open this you'll see that there is a huge drop which is going to lead to the outside so let's do it let's take the escape tunnel so we're going to go down there we're going to close it as we drop and there we go we've got an escape tunnel that goes straight under here now you can also see there is a little walkway right there so what i'm going to do is i kind of want to hide that so you probably didn't see that walkway in the last episode, and I'll get on to explaining what that is in a little while. Uh, but don't worry for now. Let's get some uh, let's get some regular catwalks, and let's get like I don't know. We might need a lot of these. Let's get like fifty of them. I'm not sure how long this thing is, but if we can get a few of those, what we can do is we can turn it round to cover the top, which I think is. That way? Oh no, it was that way, okay. Because then what we can do is we can use these to kind of cover that over and make it a little bit less uh, visible. Which I think might look actually quite nice as it stands anyway. Let's have a look at that and see how it's doing. So you can put these in the uh, in the thing there. And that does help to hide it a little bit. It's still kind of obvious that something else is there. But it helps a little bit and I think that looks, I think that looks pretty nice. So we're going to go ahead and use those to cover this little area here. So it's not quite as obvious that there is... Um, you know, there is something above that. So we're going to use those, I think. Because I think if we use anything lower, our character's going to struggle to to walk through. I could try the arrow slits as well, um, just to see if they're going to work. I mean, we could try that. Let's try the arrow slits as well, just to see. Because that might be better. So let's try some flagstone arrow slits. Let's get, like, 40 of those. Because I'll probably need a lot, to, unless I have any on me right now. I do not. Okay, so actually, we're only going to need 20 at maximum if we decide to use those. And they actually create faster as well, which is pretty nice. Um, okay, so let's try um, let's try an arrow slit and see if that hides it better. Because if it does, then we'll use that instead. I just want to see what's going to hide the look of this thing a little bit better. So let's take these out. Now, I'll go and show you what that is in just a minute. But for right now, I just want to see if this is going to work. So, so let's see if this wants to work for us, shall we? So if I put these down, how does that look in comparison to the wood? You know, I actually kind of prefer the I actually kind of prefer the arrow slits. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take these out and replace them with arrow slits because that hides it 
a lot better. You can still see like a little bit out there, but overall, I think that hides it a lot better. And turn the light off. Look at that. That looks like really kind of dank and dark down here. I quite like that. So we're going to take these off and we're going to replace those with the arrow slits because in my opinion, I think they look a little bit nicer. And it seems to suit the build a bit better. Let's turn the light on again though so you guys can see what's going on here. Plus we're going to get most of our wood back anyway, so let's just do that. There we go. See like full wood back from each of those. That's not bad. And let's just do the other side real quick as well. So do these ones. There we go. So yeah, our slits look very nice. So we're going to use those, I think. All right, let's do it. So we're going to go like this, because I don't think we're going to see if we do it like this. Yeah, that actually kind of falls perfectly. Look at look at how the dirt falls there and how it falls there. Yeah, you, if you're running past, you're not really going to notice that too much. Now, you will notice it here, however, and it seems the dirt has differed in shape just a little bit, which is fine. Um, so let's let the dirt is going like that. Well, actually, that kind of works, right? Because then we've got the arrow slit there, and we can add... We can add each one in here like this, just so it'll actually strengthen the wall a bit. So let's go back like that. So you, although you can't really see it, um, we're gonna we're gonna add it like that anyway. There we go. So then it kind of looks like there's a bit of you can see like little bits sticking out here and there, but it kind of meshes really well together. So I think that works really nicely. So we can run through here. Then we got the arrow slits um, all ready to go like that. And then it kind of meshes over like this and you won't really notice it too much, which is a good thing. Then that mer merges into there and then we can come down here. Now, this is where it leads to the escape tunnel. So there's actually a little cave down here, which isn't really anything much. It's literally just directly laying under the moat like this. So as I said, there's not much there. And I think that's the edge of the moat right there. So I might want to reinforce that just a little bit, which we'll probably get onto working with later. And then if we come up here, we have a little hatch here. And this leads to the outside. So we were just over there. Now you can see that we are all the way on the outside over here. So well, that's pretty cool, right? So what I'm going to do is uh, going to have to run all the way back around and get right there. So let me go back around. And then uh, when I decided uh, what we're going to do for the next part, I will uh, be right back. Oh, yeah. I actually have to show you what the other thing is. So let me get back around there and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I am back and it's time I showed you. What I've been doing off camera, you'll notice it's now actually day 117, so a little bit of time has passed since the end of the last episode, and that's because I've been super busy trying to work out um, where tunnels are going to go, because believe it or not, where we're standing now, there's actually a tunnel right underneath us. And it's actually heading over that way. Now, you're probably wondering what the hell this tunnel is. And I want to show you right now. So you'll recall that we have this room right here. Now, I've added a little door here. And we're going to be expanding on this room uh, in due course. So I've still got to you know, fill in the ceiling, do all that good stuff there. But we're going to be expanding on this uh, pretty soon. But I've got ahead and I've dug right down here. And I've added some stairs in there. So you can see that I've got some stairs here now. And I've got some catwalks right here. Now, this is the tunnel that I've been digging. And you can see that there is a door at the end, which right now is ajar. What is this, you may ask? Well, let me go and show you where this leads. It actually leads to somewhere very familiar, and it's probably what we're gonna be working on in today's episode. So let me close that door, because I don't really want whatever's down here escaping. So we're gonna come in here, and there's a nice little lantern over there. And if we come in here, look, you guys can see that we are in Saber's Sepulchre of Slaying. So off camera, I've gone and added a couple of extra bits in here. Now, it's, it's nothing much. All I've gone and done is I've made the entrance into uh, the sepulchre from up there. And we now have a catwalk, which goes to both of those cells there and there. So that's where Saber will keep all of her uh, victims for torturing and other such things. And then we have a walkway, which will actually come down to the bottom. So no longer do we have to always come in from Tapio's and, you know, jump our way up each time we can actually have a way to get into Saber's area without having to go through uh, Tapio's and the tunnel and now that means that the entrance can be truly one way so if we come over this way let me uh, close that cell I don't want any uh don't want any potential victims of Saber's escaping do we because uh, she, she, I think she'll kill me if we uh, if we let them out so uh let's go ahead and see if we open this door right here this now will lead down to the tunnel which will then lead to tapios so let's go ahead and close this out and now this is literally a one-way exit which is really cool so we can reach to close that door there we go and now we're down in the tunnels which are going to lead over to tapios 
underground. So now we actually have a way to get between Sabres and Tapios, and now we don't have to worry about wood frames anymore because we actually have a way to get back into Sabres. And look at that, we are back in Castle 1. That is looking really cool. So now we actually have a few things. So we have a couple of underground tunnels now. We have the main underground tunnels. Here we have the one that links from Tapios to Sabres. We've got the one that links from Castle 2 into Sabres. And we got the one that links from the King's Quarters to the outside. And overall, I think that's looking really, really nice. So yeah, we've done, uh, we've been doing a lot of digging to make this work, guys. And I've been trying to be really careful with the structural integrity. And yeah, it took a while to work out where the walls were. I had to take out a load of flagstone, put loads back and just see where things were were going. I should have probably done the tunnel first and then, you know, done everything after that. But what we're going to do is I think yeah, why not? Let's let's work on Saber's uh Saber Sepulchre of Slaying today because I think that's going to be super fun if we can get working on a little bit of that. So, what we're going to do is I need to get myself some iron out of here so let's see if we have any wood we should we should i mean we should have wood i mean it's not like it's uh it's not like it's alpha 16 there's a complete shortage of wood it's uh it's alpha 15 and wood is still pretty plentiful so let's go and put the rest of those catwalks in there um and let's put the rest of this iron in here as well so let's uh half those and then we should have something roughly equivalent if i go ahead and okay hang on we half that we can half that yeah uh, and then we put those together and that should be yeah there you go that's pretty much equivalent cool um so let's turn this on now what i want to get out of here i think we make them in here there are some certain railings that i want to get out of here but i don't know if those i don't know if those are the ones but i'm gonna leave some iron melting up anyway because i want some i want some of that let's have a look at railings because there are other types of railings that we can get there's the wooden ones which might be ones we have to to rely on to be fair um let's have a look and see if there's any other let me just type iron and see if we've got any... Because I know there was... It wasn't the bars I wanted. Because unfortunately we can't have the bars to the side. There was a couple of other things that I wanted to grab. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. We've got the raw iron fence. Oh, hang on. Maybe it is a, maybe it is a fence. Hang on. Um, let me type in fence and see. Um, we've got the white picket and the wood farm fence. Okay. It doesn't look like then we're going to be able to do it out of the material I made it out at, that I uh, made my rough design out of. Um, so that's fine. We're going to try and come up with something uh, a little bit different. So let me head back down to Sabres. I think we pretty much got most of the material we need anyway. So I think we'll be fine. If I need to go back and grab some extra things, you know, I can just quickly jump off camera, go back and grab them. That is absolutely fine. So let's get back to uh, where Sabres is. And I really like now how we actually have a way to get in there. So yeah, I did it off camera because I thought, you know, if I was doing it in a stream, I didn't want you guys to get too bored where it took me ages to work out what was going where and I thought I didn't want to do it as part of an episode because otherwise I'll just be you know doing exactly the same but on an episode rather than the stream so let's get down into sabers I love this kind of I love this kind of little tunnel that we've managed to dig though it looks pretty looks pretty stylish look it's got the the wood catwalks it's got some torches down here you can even see the earth as well through this tunnel so it's like it's been uh, it's like it's been uh, dug out and that looks really really nice now this believe it or not is supporting the entire wall in the castle upstairs so I was I was, I was digging up was to see where the walls were and i was like right that's the wall so i need i knew where i needed to support it from so yeah there's uh, a lot of work has gone into uh making this look as good as possible and be functional as well so hopefully that is going to pay off so what i wanted to do in uh in sabers in particular was to make a couple of hanging cages and i thought we could do that with some of the stuff that we have here so I think what I wanted to do is have it so that um, we'd have some victims in some cages. So let's try at first with the wood, uh, not the wood fence, we want the railings, right? So, I mean, I might be able to make it out of the catwalks later, but let's go and get some... Uh, Let's get some railing to flesh this out. Because I actually saw this used on a POI in uh, Compo Pack. And uh, Saber really liked the design of uh, of how that all worked. So I was thinking, yeah, we should do something, uh, we should do something like that um if we can so let's go ahead and come here so where do i want these hang cages i think i want one like right here because there's plenty of room there and there's also a pretty good amount of room there so i think we've got room in this place for for two hanging cages and that's gonna be really nice so let's get these frames here and let's get some regular wooden frames as well so let me go and build myself a couple of those or yeah cobblestone frames let's just let's get like oh wait no do i have oh no i have wood frames there we go let's use those what am I doing? Um, okay, so we're going to get ourselves a couple of regular wood frames. And let's go ahead and pillar our way up a little bit. So let's go uh, right here. Yep, that'll do. 
Okay, so I think we're high enough. So where is the middle of this thing? I think the middle is like... I think this is equivalent to the to the middle spot right there, where we currently happen to be. Because that's got one, two, two, and two. Yeah, that's, that's, that's roughly the middle. So that'll do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go and take that out. And then we're going to dig this little bit out here. Now this will reveal the iron underneath, as you can see. So you can now see the iron there. So we're going to go ahead and place an iron frame in there. And then I think another... An no, hang on. No, what I need to do then is I want to... If I've got scrap iron, I do not. Uh, is there any way I can get some? I could get rid of these nails right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of those nails. So scrap those nails. That'll give me, like... Hang on. Let me... Actually, if I do it, if I do it half and half, that'll probably give me more overall. Because it, it tends to do that. Um, I need two scrap frames. So if I go ahead and do those two... Maybe I have enough then, because I only need to, um, I only need two scrap frames to make this work, so that should be fine actually. So we'll scrap those two, which can be like twenty-two. That's that's all I need, because I only need a couple to do this with, and then I can go. Um, how much does that take to upgrade? Does that take more to upgrade? Hmm. I thought that gave me. Um, hmm. I actually thought that gave me. Okay, hang on. Assemble the nail gun. That should get me my nails back. Right. We'll scrap those. Maybe it is more than because I thought it was uh I thought it was like only ten or twenty per thing. So how much is it to upgrade one of those? Oh it is oh it is twenty two. It's actually twenty two to upgrade a scrap frame. Uh do I have enough more to do the other one? I don't think I do, do I? I do not. Okay, well that's okay. So what we're gonna do is it's gonna be a very simple kind of uh a simple kind of design. So we're gonna put one of these here. And yeah, Saber Save really liked this, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, she was uh, she was loving how this looked. So we're gonna go ahead and do one there, one there, and we're gonna make just like some hanging cages. It's really really simple to do. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that if we can. So one and two, and oh, I fell off my frames, but you you can see where we're going with this, right? So we're gonna make a couple of these, and I am I'm gonna fully admit that I'm gonna need to go into creative mode to finish this uh, to finish these cages because there's a couple of things that I can't get for them. Um, but what I will do is I'll go ahead and give up the appropriate resources for what I think they would usually cost. Say if we, uh, god damn it, say if we got them out of creative mode, I will go ahead and go ahead and give up the appropriate stuff. Let's go ahead and actually build the frame here. Because then I should be able to get up a little bit higher, like that. That's it. That's where I want to be. And then we can go and do one... Uh, oop, did that turn that way? It did. How dare you turn the last minute? It's like cheeky cage right there. So we're going to go... One, two... And then one and two, like this. How's that looking? Oh, yeah, look, that's, that's looking pretty cool. Now, uh, for the bottom of it, we're going to go ahead and do... Let's have a look and see how I want to do this. Let me get some. Uh, let me get some poles, and let's get four of those. Let's get four poles for now. And this, I think, should be able to support everything that we need it to. Um, so we're going to go this one. There we go. Then this one. Then come on. That one, yeah, here we go. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and do this, and then of course for the bottom one, we're gonna have. I guess we could have. A... Oh, we could. I guess yeah, we could have a catwalk on the bottom, right? That could work, could it? Yeah, let's try that. A catwalk on the bottom. Let's see. Let's see if a catwalk is gonna work in the uh, in the bottom position here. If it does, that would look very nice. Let's try that. So catwalk on the bottom, but instead of doing it that way. I want to do it that way, like that. And there we have ourselves, if I come back a little bit, a hanging cage. How cool is that, right? So we've we've got ourselves a hanging cage now, and we can go ahead and put, I think we're going to put a, uh, a corpse or something in there so that he's kind of like sitting in there and you know he's, he's hanging above. And the idea is that he can see through the floor. So when Saber's doing her, her torturous deeds down here and torturing the victims, this guy, this guy in this hanging cage fully knows that he's going to be next to uh, to get the torture treatment, which is really, really cool. So that is the first hanging cage right there. And I think that looks uh, I think that looks pretty nice. So 
That works. I'd like to ideally have made it out of the uh, the iron bars, but I think for, for now, that is going to be absolutely fine. So what we're going to need to do is I am going to now need to go into creative mode. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you obviously on camera while I do this, so you know that you know, I'm going in. Uh, so here we go. We're going to go into, uh, not debug. I need to I need to keep that on just in case I fall through the world because I do get the occasional chunk issue around here, which is very unfortunate. But there we go. Now we're in creative mode. So yeah, I, I turn on debug by default, but as I said, I will only ever use it if I get caught in a chunk and I can't get out. So let's go and see. I need um, a corpse. Here we go. So here is the uh, here is the corpses. So let me let me just get myself this many of them for now, because um, I do want to lay some around in sabers. And look at that. We can we can like lay them down. We can lay them down like against the walls there and things like that. That's gonna look really cool once we got those corpses and stuff. I think his mouth has a missing texture as well because he's got his, he has a purple mouth, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Right, let's go and put a corpse inside this cage. So I think to do that, we're gonna need to go ahead and take out one of these. So we'll take that one out and we can just replace it. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the corpse. What ways can he go? Because I think uh, yeah he's gonna have his he's gonna have his legs kind of coming out of the out of the thing but I can I put him up one I wonder that'd look quite cool now you can go you can, you can go upside down so oh I, I might have an idea for for what I want to try with that that's gonna be pretty cool if I can get it to work um, okay so let's have him let's have him diagonally like this and that's the corpse guy in the cage and then we just cage him up so he is kind of clipping through the block a bit but it doesn't look too bad so let's go ahead and get some more um, railings. There we go. So we can get a few more railings. So let's get um, let's get forty because I'll probably I'll probably be making some more cages and stuff because I do want to go ahead and start building as much of sabers as I can. So we're gonna have one in there. And you turn that off. Let's have a look at that. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. So yeah, he's uh, he's kind of clipping through a little bit. But there we go. We have one of the floating cages. Now that's one out of two. And I think just to give this a bit more of a finished. It doesn't look quite finished yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get some more catwalks here. So not, not catwalks, sorry. I want the poles. That's what I want. So let's go get some more wood poles. So wood pole. Is that it? Yeah, here we go. So wood pole. Let's get another 30 of those. Just so we have enough of them. There you go. So we've got some poles coming in. And I was thinking, I don't know. Will this look good or will it not? Let me, let me try this. So we we're going to go... I, I was thinking of adding some stuff like this to it as well, because the, the, it's kind of, you can see it's coming over the top, but that kind of takes up the block space anyway, so I don't know how good that's going to look. And there's no real little corner piece that we can put on, unless we get a uh, unless we get a concrete eighth block to fit on the corner of each, which I think I might need to be doing. But I don't know if that's going to, again, I don't know if that is going to cause the whole thing to fall, because this can really not really support that much extra on the top. So yeah, I need to be a little bit careful with that. So... Let's have a look. I mean, I could have it come and oh no, actually no, I could do something like this. Yeah, I could I could do something like that um, and kind of bold out the corners a little bit, and then do one, two. Can I reach down and do the bottom one? I can. So let's go and turn this on again, and then we're going to go and do the bottom one down here as well. So hopefully I can can I jump and reach that. Yes, I can. Um, so I need to go and get some frames to get back up there again. But yeah, this, that's what we can do. We can do something like that. And then that at least makes the cage look like, you know, when it comes down, because obviously this, these cages are going to be able to be lowered. So those are going to be the feet for the cages so that when they're on the floor, they'll be uh, completely lowered. So let's go ahead and do that. So I guess what we could do to make it look a little bit more, I don't know, convincing, what we could do is have one where it's raised up and then one where the cage is actually on the ground. I think that would be quite cool. So we'll make like what the chain is supposed to look like. We'll build the cage on the ground and then we'll make uh, what the chain is supposed to look like. And I think that would work very, very well. So let's go ahead and do that. How's that looking? Yeah, that's, look that's looking pretty cool. So I'm, uh, I'm, a liking, I'm liking this cage. I am very much liking this cage. I think that looks very awesome. So yeah, we've we now have these uh, floating cages where the victims get stored before 
our dear friend Saberstar goes and absolutely maims and destroys them, which is really awesome. Right, let's go ahead and uh, build, build these down. And then I guess we'll build a cage on the ground where we think it should go. Now, the only issue here is uh, I was thinking of putting it there. But I don't know now because we need kind of uh, we need kind of some room here, and these are going to take up some of the block spaces here. So this is only allowing me, I think, two blocks of, of building room. Yeah, so that's only allowing me two blocks of building room. We do have three blocks of building room around here, though. So I'm just thinking. I mean, the cages don't necessarily have to be aligned with those things. They could be. Um, aligned with the middle here and we could have something that's coming down from there so i think that's what we'll do we'll have the uh we'll have this cage aligned i don't know because that might look, look so good unless uh, unless we have it aligned with with this one here so this could be where they uh this could be where another hanging cage is oh no no wait i know what we do i know what we're gonna do i know what we're gonna do with this bit we are gonna have it so that there is another another wooden cage right here so it's not going to be a, a full cage it's just going to be like a, a basic wooden cage coming coming over here and that can then house the rest of the victims in so there's a couple of bits of flagstone that we're going to need to take out so let's go and start off the uh let's go and start the cage here and this will actually add some extra uh, structural integrity to the bit above it as well so actually that's quite a good thing if we do this um in terms of uh the in terms of the castle itself that's actually a very good thing because we'll be increasing the structural integrity of the walls above it which is really good so let's get the pickaxe I th i'll think about what i'm going to do with the floor cage but let's get the pickaxe for now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place um let's have a look i would like a full flagstone block there so let's get rid of those frames here so we're going to go and get a full flagstone block and we'll place it there and then let's go and get another one of these out of the way. So probably should have used the axe, that's okay. So do that one, and then we're going to have a full flagstone block up there. And you know, I may as well just make this piece out of full flagstone, right? There we go. That'll look better, because then the cage will sit flush with this part here. There we go. So then we can go ahead and do that. And then, last but not least, we can go ahead and put these all in together. So these can come along the top like this and that's going to support oh yeah it's going to be good so it's going to be uh it's going to be a big cage we we could make this um it, oh if, if i'd have done it the other way we could have made it a multi a multi-story cage which might have been oh no that's that's what we, that's what we should do we should we should trap we should uh i think saber would, would approve if we if we trapped her victims in like rats in a in like a multi-story cage run and things yeah that's that's what we're gonna do okay let's take these out let's swap this over because if we swap it over then we can actually make a little bit on the inside and Saber can then obviously have some more room to just stuff her victims in there. So that sounds like a good plan to me. So let's do that. So let's go and start building out this way instead. So where is the entry going to be? I think the entry should be in the middle of the cage right there. Right. It's going to be a little bit harder to build on the top of these things. Literally because, yeah, it's uh, a little bit trickier. Because like, once, once you're at that level, see, it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult. So we're going to have to build down from the top i think is the best way to do this um apart from that bit of course we can do this and then we need to come over okay so it seems like we're gonna have to well i guess it's not gonna look too bad if we replace those okay i got a better idea let's uh, frame this out a little bit more so Oh, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Cool. I actually, I actually got it. I actually did something right. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can add a little bit of a framed look to the top and that other exposed side of the cage. So maybe if we do that. Yeah, here we go. If we do this. And then we're going to come around this way. And we're going to do this. That's better. That's better. Because then we can then go ahead and put the things on the way that we would like it there we go because then that will allow me to build from there there we go so we can build those and then we can put one there one there and then finally we can chuck one right there cool okay that works so then we've got this cage ready to go so let's go ahead and add a secure wooden door so let's go and get one of those on here 
Shame you can't make like a, a, a cage door. I know you can make the prison door, but they're not set. They are. Uh, they are. Sorry, they are centered. So unfortunately, you can't really just go ahead and put those down willy nilly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a secure wooden door right there, and then this will open out like this. So in here is where Saber would have more of her poor unfortunate victims, which is going to be really cool. So let's go ahead and add some plates. I think. Yeah, let's get some plates. Let's do that. Right, this is gonna it's, it's turning out well, so so let's get some wood plates. Let's get like 30 of those. Probably won't need that many, but 30 will be a good start. And then we can start laying these down where we want them. So I think we want them on this level. Right here. And then at least Saber has more space to store her victims, which is, of course, the most important thing about her dungeon. She needs, uh, you know, Saber needs room to store, to, you know, store her victims away. So, you know, we got to give her, got to give her plenty, so then she can catch as many of these, uh, many of these unfortunate fellows as she wishes. So, you know, got to, got to give her, her, our Dark Queen all the power that she needs. So, let's go ahead and do, okay, so that's got a candle there, so I'm going to take that candle out. If I can. Okay, I can't take the candle out. Can I drop something? Okay, you know what? Let me... Do I scrap those or do I not? No, I don't. I don't scrap those. Um, right, I've got one of those left. Let me scrap that. And then I can pick this up. Okay. There we go. And then I, can put... then I can at least put those in there. There we go. So that works. And then I guess that can be a ladder area to uh, to the upper area. Can work. Yeah. So then we can have a ladder. So let's go and scrap these now. And then let's make ourselves a couple of ladders. And then this can be the way that we get to the top area. There we go. So we'll make a few of them. So that won't take long to scrap. Yeah, once we, once we scrap those, then we can make a few of those. And then I think we'll put some more corpses up the top. And I think that'd be really cool. So we've got a few ladders up there. So one, two, three. And that's it. Okay, scrap that one. And hopefully we should... Can we climb up here successfully, or does it not want to let us up? Oh, no, we can. There we go. So we can just about fit um, up the top there. And I need to get rid of that one right there. Was that the right one? Yeah, it sounded, it sounded like it broke one to the other side of me. But there we go. Look, now we got uh, now we got some cages here. And uh, yeah, Saber's poor victims will be able to see her doing all of her torturous, uh, all of her torturous deeds right down there, which is really, really cool. So... I think I might have to take this candle out here as well, but you know it should it should be darker in the prison area. It should, yeah, it should be like this in the in the prison section. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And let's go ahead and get a plate again. So I just need one. So I think I got. Uh, I think I just got one. So let's go and get one more plate. And then I should be able to easily plonk it down the bottom there. There we go. So now we have the dungeon cages and this is where we can add some more corpses so saber would not let her corpses live in very good conditions or her actual, actual well they, these would be bodies you know or or actual living people at the time but you know she wouldn't let her i was gonna say she, i mean you can't really let a corpse live can you but you know what i mean she wouldn't let her she wouldn't let her victims live very comfortably so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna like cram a load of them in here so let's go ahead and just do a few like this and then we'll have we'll have this guy kind of over here and then hang on is this guy like up against the wall oh i i have an idea what we can do for that because he's upside down what's this one like yeah i i have an idea what we could do for that i think we'll have like a i know what we can do for that one we could have him go in like can we have him go higher oh no we can't because he is uh Currently like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, that's fine. I just want to see where we can put these guys. But yeah, she wouldn't want these. She wouldn't want these guys living. I guess uh, very in very good conditions. So yeah, so it's a dungeon after all, you know. So we're gonna have let's have one guy there. Let's have one. Let's have one like there. So they were like they were like kind of trying to cower against the walls away from her. There we go. And then we can uh, add a few down here as well. So we'll have uh, this guy there. Come on, let's have, let's have a guy backed up against the, the wall of the cage there. And let's have. Hmm. I'm thinking actually, there's. I do want to do something with that that kind of shape of guy or or this one. Like have him have him look like he's hanging upside down. I think that'd be really cool if we can make that work. So let's go ahead and do. 
One guy there. And one guy there. There we go. So now we got some uh, now we got some corpses inside here, which look like uh, victims that have been uh, imprisoned for a while. Got the one in the cage, and then I want to see about doing this uh, doing one that's been hanged because I think that'd look pretty cool as well. So how are we gonna do one that looks like it's been kind of hanged or something? Let's have a look. I mean, could we use this pole to our advantage? Maybe let's have a look. Let's have a look because maybe we could. So let's try and get him lined up like that. Um, okay, so if we if we put him up like this, I don't know. Then we could add like, uh, okay, yeah. What we could do is we could put him like, yeah, we could put him like this. Look, maybe one, maybe one down. Oh, he cannot. Uh, he cannot stick. Okay, so they can't go. They can't go up in the air and stick. I think, I think that's why they just fall. Okay, so they can't. I, I wanted to have it look like he's being hanged, but I guess we can't. Unless you do it against this wall here. Can can he stick to that? No. Okay, so I'm not sure because I, I remember Saber got that to work somehow. Okay, what we can what we can do. Other idea. Other idea. Then what we can do is we can get these poles, and I can put one pole because they they can sit on a block. So I can put a pole. I can put a pole like this against something, have him sit on that pole, and then from there, make it look like he's, yeah, yeah that, that'll work, that'll work. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a pole, maybe here? Yeah, that'll work. So pole there. And let's go and turn this guy back to the way I wanted him, which was like there. So it looks like you have to go there. Yeah, that that holds him in place right there. And then what we can do is we can make it look like um, looks like he's been hung by some rope. So let me get some uh, frames. But with cobblestone, I th I found the one that looks most like rope. So these frame poles. So let me get a few of those on the go. I don't know how many we'll need, but let's try this. So we can go and do that. And then with the frame poles, we can come and place one up there like that so it kind of looks like it kind of looks like he's been he's been hanged up there it doesn't obviously it doesn't look great because you know he's he's not actually attached to it but like when you're looking at it from like this angle like this it looks like he's uh it looks like he's just hanging there i think that looks really nice so now we have uh we have one of the victims being uh being just hanged and just just swinging out there and i think that looks really cool so that works and we now have a we now have a, a hung a, a, a hung or hanged victim and i quite like that yeah, I think that will, that will be fine, I think. So if you guys have a better way to make that look like it's going to work more, um, then I would be all ears. But once the light's off, you can't really you can't really notice it. And it looks like he's kind of being it looks like he's kind of being hanged up there, which I quite like. OK, so let's go and start working on what's going to go down in this little section. Now, I think I got rid of my nails, so we're probably going to need to go back and get some others which I think we're going to. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me head back to the first castle. We're going to uh, obviously use this uh, lovely escape route that we now have uh, full access to. So let's go and use that. And I'm going to head back to castle one and we're going to go ahead and grab a few other bits that we're going to need in order to build some more stuff. So let me go back here and I need to uh, come out of creative mode as well because I've got all my, I've got all the corpses that I want. So let me go back here. And I'll be right back when I've got some more stuff. Alrighty, guys, I am back. Now, one thing that we haven't done is I haven't figured out um, what I want to do in the leather padded room because we've got so far the leather looking fine. But then we've also got this bit of wall here that I've not really been sure what to do with. But I think I've come up with an idea in how we can actually cover this over. So how many are we going to need? We're going to need two, three, four, five, six, double that to 12. So we're going to need 13. So what I was thinking is we could actually cover these over with leather couch arms, because if we can do this correctly, we could probably get away with having the arms on the side like this so what i was thinking is it might not look so convincing but we could have the arms like that 
Is there any other ways you can rotate them? I just want to double check. No, so it seems that it's only like that. Now, they don't go kind of all the way to the top like I was hoping they would. So it's not going to be a, a complete a complete covering, but it will go a long way towards making it look a little bit better. And I actually quite like that um, kind of look as well. So I think that's what we're going to be doing um, in terms of that bit. So we could go ahead and do this and just cover it over. So it looks like at least there's some kind of leather padding on this side and it kind of then masks uh, the fact that there's so much dirt there. So that's probably the best that we can get with uh, this stuff for now. So I'm pretty happy to, to work with that and I think that's probably the best shape that we're going to get out of it because where this wall is only one thick and there's a the thing there, I don't want it to get rid of the sod blocks there. So I'd rather go ahead and do the, uh, the leather pads like that so then we can just not worry about about, uh, how things look because it needs it needs a wall here by the way to actually support it so yeah we need to it needs to it needs to be there so then we can go ahead and do these like that now that as i said it doesn't look the best it doesn't look as good as these walls over here now those ones are really good and it doesn't look really as good as those but it's probably the best that we can do with the kind of block shapes that we have and the current position that we could. I mean, if I'd have dug this one back, it would have been fine. But then again, I mean, I if I dig this one back, that will uh, destabilize the entire wall above. So I can't do that. I'm literally, I'm literally trapped with what I've got here, which is absolutely fine. So I know in hindsight, I probably could have dug this tunnel a couple longer that way. And uh, it would have worked out pretty well. But that's okay. We now have a leather padded room. So let's go ahead and get another secure wood door. And we're going to put that in front of it because obviously we wouldn't want the uh, wouldn't want Saber's uh, victims walking out now, would we? So let's go ahead and place this. Do you want it this way or do we want it on the outside? I think we'll have it on the outside like this. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do an upgrade so let's go and do one of those i'm thinking about it i probably want to upgrade the door on these cages over here as well because i mean you know they, they need to be secure right so we want to have the door upgraded as best we can so yeah we've, we've done pretty well so we've got a guy that's hanging we got a guy that's trapped in a in a cage that we could lower um so let's go and make some various torture devices so i think the first thing i want to do is get some tables on the go so let's go and uh, see what tables i can get so probably these, these rusty scrap iron tables are the best uh, are the best thing i can use uh we've got wood tables as well which i might use um we've got regular iron tables well actually they no they look better don't they those regular iron tables i like this i like the scrap iron ones Ones, but I like the regular iron ones too. Okay, let's use the scrap iron for now, and then uh, if we change our mind, we can get some of the uh, regular iron tables as well. You can see I've got some barbed wire here as well, so I'm being uh, trying to be a little bit creative with uh, the stuff we have here. So, uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place some tables along here like this and i was thinking this could be some sort of uh some sort of rack so that we could have like a, a corpse on here and then being stretched at one end and uh, the other end which might be quite good so let's go ahead and get the do i do i still maintain my wood poles or did i drop them i think i dropped them okay let's uh, get some more poles in because we could always use uh always use a little bit more wood in our life couldn't we <laughs> so let's get some more of those so let's get uh let's get like 20 of them that should be fine they don't take long to build at all and i was thinking we could kind of round this table out a bit like that and then we could have a pole on the end there and like a pole on the end kind of like that and i was thinking this could be this could be the ideal spot then to have like a rack or something so we're gonna go and put a corpse on this thing as well I don't know if there's any... Oh, no, no, actually, what we should do... Let me go into creative mode again to get the other type of corpse block that we can get. Because there is another type that we can get, um, which is these ones. And these ones, this guy looks... This guy's lying completely down, and it looks like he's had his uh, his guts just ripped out. Look at that. So there we go. We're going to lie him... Yeah, we're going to lie him that way. So that it looks like he's been stretched, and then his guts, are just, uh, his guts have just been uh, ripped out like that. There you go, look at that. So that looks pretty cool. So then I kind of want it to look like he's been pulled by something. I don't know what kind of shapes we can get to make it look like there's like ropes and things though. Let's let's try let's try cobblestone poles again. And then we'll put it like this, I guess. So we could have it um I mean I know a rack was had like a metal a metal thing. We can make it look like there's ropes. 
on the end, if we were to do something like this, so we could like do one, do one there, one there, just to make it look like there's some kind of rope on the end. It doesn't look, it doesn't look quite as good as I thought it would. Maybe I, maybe I will take this out. Let's see if, if this is gonna work the way I want it. Okay, I hear a running zombie upstairs. Hopefully, it's gonna go straight past. Yeah. Okay, we do have some uh, we do have some zombies breaking in. Okay, let me uh, let me get out of uh, let me get out of Saver's place, and we gotta go and gotta go and sort this. It sounds like they're inside. It sounds like they've actually uh, spawned inside the castle, which is kind of concerning. Let's go and see if I can deal with these guys. Right. Where are they? So we'll get a bit of a, a look in here. Okay. So let me see where. Where I come from, right. One's coming this way. Right, one's this way. And so uh, it definitely sounds like she's inside. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it definitely sounds like they're inside or working their way in. Okay. This castle is kind of tricky sometimes. So, let's see. So yeah, they're unfortunately going to be breaking through a load of flagstone. And where there's not really that many spikes, it's a bit harder to defend right now. That's right, though. Right, let me let me drop down here. Okay. Yeah, I think I know where she is. I think I know where they are. I think I know where they are. But unfortunately, I got to go a really long way to get out to them. Okay. Let's take the uh, balcony route, and then we should be able to get down through here before they manage to uh, dig their way out because they are now digging. Where are they? Yeah, I can see him over there. All right, we'll dig out. We'll we'll just get out this way. Little buggers. I see any problem with the zombies? They will. They will quite actively just dig out of here. Right, oi! Okay, there we go. We can uh, we can get their attention over here. There we go. Oi, lady. That's it. You come back here. Right. Where are the other ones? Right. There's there's some more around here. We're gonna go and deal with them. I'm trying, I'm trying to build a dungeon here. Right. Right. Okay. She's not doing too much damage. Right. It's mainly down here, isn't it? I think that's, that's happening. Right. Oi! Okay. Okay, there's a load here. Right. You. You. Oh, you're, you're already walking. Okay, you're gone. Right. You're gone. Okay. And we just have to watch out for other runners. Okay, quite a big wandering horde today, right. Right, any more runners or are they down there? They're down there, I think. Oh, I hear, there's more runners coming. Right, okay, let's uh, back up here. Right, at least I know where they're coming from now. There you go, we can engage them here. Right. Come on then. Edgar. There we go. Right, then we just got this guy to deal with. Who is kind of... Uh, Stuck over there. Is that going to get his attention? Um, no, it appears he is completely and utterly stuck over there. That's it. Come on then. There you go. Made him walk a bit. Oi. Gotcha. Okay, there we go. Right, let's see what they broke because I think they did uh, quite a bit of damage around here. I think I saw the nurse whacking on some of these. Right, let's get the nail gun out. Let's do a little bit of uh, fixing because that does happen sometimes. The zombies will just come around and just wreck a few things. So, oh, I didn't want to fix that one, did I? Uh, right, that's damaged. Some of this stuff has been damaged down here. I don't know. I don't know why they're damaging those bits, but this. Oh, damn it! I didn't want to upgrade those either. Okay, I'm gonna add to sort that a bit later because I don't want to upgrade my concrete things, especially. There you go. So let's try and uh, just do this carefully. See what we need to uh, see what we need to fix. Right. So where did they come in? They came. So they came from this way. They ran through this way, and I've got a uh, got an invisible land mass right there. Look at that. So one of those uh, one of those chunky blocks. Got one of them. Um, okay. So luckily, this didn't take too much damage. I can repair that one. Um, so we should just be able to go ahead and replace that flagstone right there that the nurse got rid of. So let's go and do that. There we go. Then I don't need that one block right there. 
So yeah, the uh, the only problem with this castle is doing repairs on it is a little bit a uh, little bit tricky, especially when big wandering hordes come in like that. Um, so hopefully that's most of the blocks that got damaged around this region. Yes, it looks like it. Okay, so then more of them ran this way. So let's check they haven't done damage to the towers around here. Doesn't look like it. So the other section that they started to wreck. There was a little hole in the ground over here, wasn't there? Somewhere. There it is. Right, so it's over here. Okay, so they started to dig a little bit, but... Let's go and get rid of those. I'm not really too worried about the loop. So let's go and get rid of those guys, and then we can just go ahead and strengthen these once again. And then put those back in. And that is now filled in, and then we just have to do the repairing around the edge, which should be absolutely fine. Okay, yeah, that looks absolutely fine. So that's all repaired. Everything is looking rather good now. And yeah, there we go. Let's grab that wood frame real quick. Let's go and check some other stuff. Right, let me just go quickly check. And then we may continue doing the dungeon. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that concrete with another thing of uh, cobblestone. Clear up these bodies as well. Because, you know, I don't want them... Uh, I don't want them just, like, being strewn all over the castle. Because we've worked hard to make this place look nice. So I'd rather not have those... Uh, Gore blocks everywhere, so we're going to get rid of those. I might get some animal fat out of them as well. There we go. That's a good thing. But yeah, we're going to get rid of those. So let me go and deal with that, and then I'll be right back, and we can continue in Saber's Dungeon. Alrighty, the zombies have been cleared out, and everything is uh, pretty much back to normal now. So we've got the start of a, uh, a guillotine, no, sorry, not a guillotine thing, a, uh, a rack right here. So it kind of looks like the things are, you know, going in and, and pulling um, either side of that thing, and it looks okay. So we might be able to improve that in a little while, but for now, I think we've got a good at least starting design for that. Now, the other thing we're going to do is, uh, I kind of just gave it away, but we're going to make, a, we're, we're going to do it, we're going to make a guillotine as well, because I mean, uh, you know, we're going to want, uh, Saber's going to want ways to behead her victims, right? So let's go ahead, and uh, I think the best way we can do this is if we make a wedge, and the one that kind of looks like it's going to be the best choice is going to be the concrete. Now, again, I'm going to upgrade this later with some reinforced steel because I think that will obviously make the blade look like it's, you know, an actual really sharp blade. But for now, we're going to go ahead and use that. Now, I don't really... I mean, I only got two animal fat out of that, so we're going to drop that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some half blocks as well. So, actually, is it half blocks or one? Or could, would, could we get away with poles? Let's try with poles and see if we can get away with this because if we can... That'll save me a bit of a job. So where do we want to have this? Uh, where do we want to have this uh, rack right here? I think what we should do is have it uh, not the rack. So I, I get them mixed up now. I'm calling the rack a guillotine, the guillotine a rack. I'm I'm, I'm confused. Um, let's have it. I kind of want it. We kind of need it so that there's a little bit of room in the middle. So let's do one there and one there. Actually, we probably want three high, right? Yeah, that'll do. And we can do one and two and three, like that. Cool. And then we obviously want um, a plate or some or of some description in the middle. But let's go ahead and first put on what is eventually going to be the blade. Hopefully this can go the right way that I want it. Is that the way I want to do it? Yeah, that's going to have to be the way that we do it. So we're going to have the blade there. And essentially, we're gonna we're gonna upgrade that to uh, the forged steel, and then that's gonna be what drops and obviously does the damage. So that should that should work pretty well. So then we're gonna want a plate um, on this side here. So let's go and get a let's get a wood plate. Here we go. So wood plate should do it right. Yeah, here we go. Wood plate. That's what I want. I probably I probably already had one, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. I actually didn't. Okay, I was uh, I was doing something. Uh, I was doing something right. Okay, so wood plate. Let's go and have the wood plate in the front there. Um, or do I want it there? Because I want to make I want to make it look like as a, a basket as well. So actually, let's uh, get the wood plate and we're going to turn it around to the other side. Might not might not be so convincing because obviously the thing's going to then look like it's going to fall on. Because I mean, if I because that looks like then it would fall behind it, which is what I want, but. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to make it do what I want otherwise. So I'm going to have uh, one over that side. I'm sure we can we can kind of tweak it and make it work. And then on this side, I want it to look like there's like a basket or something. And I think the best looking kind of big barrel looking basket is actually a cobblestone frame. 
with uh, the pillar 100. I think that looks kind of like a, a basket that, that heads could fall into. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Let's do it on the side like that. And I'm thinking, you know, once the uh, once the head gets chopped off, it will then fall into the basket. Now, obviously some sides are invisible on the basket there, but I think that's a, a good thing. Or, or no, wait, I've got, I've got an even better idea. Why don't we use what we did before with the railings? Um, so let's go and get some railings. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, why don't we use these? If we use three of those, and then put those in succession like this, so we can go one, then go two, then three, then we can swap that back over to keep it looking convincing of where it's kind of belonging. So let's go and scrap that again, and then we can go and get a plate. There we go. So we've got a plate there. Let's... Mm, no, you shouldn't need a concrete plate. Let's get a wood one. So wood plate right there. And then we're going to put this on this side. Yeah, because then the head would be obviously through here and then it'd get chopped and fall into the basket right there. So uh, yeah, the uh, the last decapitations for Saber Star's victims. I think it's going to be pretty cool. And then the last thing we're going to need is maybe a half block. So let's get a wood half block. And we're going to put that there, because that's then where the blade can fall into once the head's been chopped off there. So yeah, as, as I said, it's not really like the, the bladiest looking blade, but that will be, that'll do, I think. So we're going to have a half block there, and then we're going to have a table. Um, actually, no, let's have, let's have a set of flagstone stairs, actually, on this side. So then what we can do is obviously say Saber would, would walk up here with her, you know, she'd be dragging her victim by the by the neck, she'd walk up here, she'd throw them onto that thing, and then she would uh, release the rope. So then obviously the last thing is the rope. So let's go and see what we can do with that. Of course, we're going to use the uh, frame poles that we were using before. So let's go and use some of those. So let's go and get some poles, and we're going to use some more of those cobblestone frame poles. So let's get like 20 of them. And that should hopefully be enough to do what I want. So we're going to have to see how we want to do this, because we need to come down from the ceiling. But then again, are we going to have the room to do that? We should do, actually. Yeah, so let's go in the middle. Hang on, it's a bit tricky to see. Let me do that, because that's... Uh, that, if, I do, if I do that, it does make it a bit easier to see. Okay, do I want it in the middle, or do I want it on the edge? Yeah, let's actually have it on the edge. That would That would work better, I think. But I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do it so that um, I don't want to do. I don't want to build it up from there because otherwise that will collapse. And you know that's a, that's that's a lot of materials wasted for, especially where it's concrete as well. So I don't want to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, pillar our way up again. So let's go. Can we go this side? Yeah, here we go. And then we're going to come back this way. So you guys can be swapped with you guys. There you go. Let's make sure that's actually the way that I want it. That's the way that I want it. Okay. And then it's going to come down from, I think, this one. I think that's where it's going to come down from. Yeah. Hopefully that's not going to cause the wood to collapse. I might upgrade that to iron, actually, um, just to be safe. But hopefully this should then go there. Is that going to make it fall? No, that looks uh, that looks good to me. There you go. So now we got like a now we got like a rope holding this thing up, and then all Sabre would have to do would you know be to just chop that rope and then have that thing just uh, go collapsing straight down on there, which is pretty good. Now what I might do as well is have another rope coming from the top. So maybe actually what we should do to make this kind of a little bit more realistic, we should have a lot like some kind of log or something up the top there, and then make it look like the rope's been wrapped over it. Because that might look a little bit uh, more convincing. So let's go and try that. Because I do want to try and make my builds look as uh, convincing and uh, authentic as I can, if I can. Um, so let's try this. So why don't we have like a, I don't know, like a, a log going over this way. And then we can, yeah, that's coming from the wall like that. So that can be like um, the log that the rope is then wrapped over. And then all we have to do is have it come down the other side and then have a weight on the end of it. So then all Saber would have to do would be to, uh, of course, chop the weight and down the rope would fall 
onto the victim. So we're going to have the rope coming back down this way. There we go. That works. There we go. So then we can have the rope coming back down there. And I should probably build it from the bottom there. So let's go and put... Uh, let's use a log as a weight at the bottom. And uh, then we can go ahead and build this up. So one and two. There we go. So now there's uh, now there's the weight on the end of the rope there, which is going to keep the uh, keep the thing raised. And then all you have to do is cut the rope. Then that would roll over the top of that, and then chop, and off would come the face. So that's looking pretty nice. I think we're going to upgrade this level to iron reinforced wood because that will hold the concrete on a lot better. We're going to upgrade that to reinforced concrete. And once that's dried, we're going to upgrade it to steel. And then we're going to upgrade it to polished steel. And that is going to look really, really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wait for... Uh, I'm going to go and wait for that to dry. I do happen to have a tiny bit. I think I've got just enough polished steel to make this one thing. And I think that's going to look really cool when it's done. So let me go ahead and wait till this is dried. And then I'll be right back once I've upgraded this um, to steel and polished steel. And we can go from there. Alrighty guys, I'm back, and would you look at that, I had some steel, and I had 11 reinforced steel upgrade in my chests. So I had just enough to upgrade the one block that we wanted, which is really, really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to upgrade that to steel. Hopefully that's not going to fall. Indeed, that looks pretty cool though. And then we're going to upgrade that once to some reinforced steel. And that is now a shiny, sharp looking blade. Look at that. So now we can have that drop down onto the victim's head, chop it off. And it will land in there. So that's looking really cool. So I think the last things I want to do is uh, I want to have um, I want to have like an, a kind of an inquiry kind of thing with some other things going on around here. So we've got the we got the uh, got the rack there. We got the guillotine. So uh, we got the cage where the where the heads can fall. So that's uh, that's really good. We got a, we got a hanging cage. Got a big cage in there. So we've actually done quite a lot on Savers uh, Savers Dungeon today, and rightly so because we haven't worked on it in in a while, and it's really really looking cool now. So uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, how how the design is actually going so far. Um, so yeah, and, and that, that poor guy out there has got to, got to sit and watch because he knows that cage is is going to be lowered, and he's going to be the next one and then you know say it's gonna get another victim raise him up in the cage there so yeah that's gonna be uh that's gonna be probably pretty bad for that guy because he gets like a because yeah that, that's pretty good because this guy gets a front row seat to see this the, this guy down here getting beheaded and oh man that is that's actually pretty evil i like it i like i'm liking that that's that's pretty evil i, I do like that um okay so what we're going to do is, uh, last but not least, I think, then we're going to make this uh, a little inquiry kind of area. And I was thinking we could use some of this barbed wire to our advantage. So one thing I think we could do is we could have, on this on this wall here, is we could have some barbed wire just going up the wall like this. So we could have, let me turn this off so you guys can see it a bit. So we're going to have some barbed wire going up this wall on all three sides. So we're gonna. Oh, is that the? Is that the right? I can't even see where I put it. No, it's not the right way. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that because I don't want it. I don't want it there. I don't want it where I can easily walk into it. I mean, it would be hilarious, but there we go. So we have barbed wire there and there, and then we're gonna have, of course, some barbed wire around this side as well. So there we go. Now I can turn the light on so we can see a bit. And there we go. We have a we have now a wall which is made of barbed wire. Look at that. So now what I want to do is get like a I want to get a chair of some of some description. So we're going to have a chair. Let's craft one of those. There we go. So we can craft a chair, and we're going to go ahead and place that chair right there. Now the idea here is uh, Sable will sit her victim on a chair and she'll tie them to the chair. She'll then inquire them and torture them and things, and if they refuse to answer her questions, she's going to just get that chair and kick it, and they're going to fall headfirst into that barbed wire. So they're going to get, they're going to get like stabbed in the face and the back of the shoulders, things like that. And then she, or, or she could turn the chair round and then make them face the bar. I, no, oh no, actually, I, li I like that better. I like that better. That is, uh, that is a pretty cool idea, actually. We should have it so that um, she has the chair turned this way, so then she'll be like standing here like questioning and if they refuse to answer she'll come behind the chair and she'll kick it and they'll go face first into that barbed wire there we go so that's a that's a pretty mean uh, that's a pretty mean little torture device right there very simple and very mean 
I think that's I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have that right there, and I think that's gonna be pretty cool. And then I think lastly over here we should have some other other tables and things. So let's get some more of these scrap iron tables. Let's get uh, six. Let's get six of that. I think six will be enough. Let's try that. I think six should be. I think six should be plenty. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, we're gonna have six because then we can have one, two, three. We can have four, five, and six like that. And then on here we're gonna have some chests, uh, which eventually will fill out with some storage and stuff like that. So let's have some chests and things which can go on the top of there. And then this is where Sable we'll would keep all of her, uh, all of her weapons and things like that. So we're gonna have some chests along there like that and that's where Saber can then keep all of her stuff so for example Saber really likes leather and it's her, it so happens that I got a ton of leather so there we go Saber now has uh, leather in there so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can like find some uh, I, I doubt we'll find it legitimately so eventually I might just add some in creative like right at the end but I was thinking we could have some like uh, biker clothes and stuff like like the she really likes the black goth boots and the and the black uh, the like the skater punk and the goth stuff so I was thinking we could do that and mix that with some uh, leather armor uh, and the duster and things like that. pretty much everything that's made out of leather I think it would be quite good to have in here um, and I think that is looking pretty good for the uh, dungeon so far. So uh, Saber Se Saber's uh, Sepulchre of Slaying now has a few extra torture devices inside. Now, last thing I want to do is I think I want to have a, uh, a prison door right there as well just so that uh because there's no real escape route right here but just in case like she's dragging a victim and it try it tries to run back to get back over here and, and run back into the cell just so that saber can kind of you know gate that area off just a little bit we're gonna go ahead and see if we got any of those prison doors spare because if we do and uh i also went and uh, as you can see put some more corpses in here um but if we do have any of those prison doors spare we should use those because again, that will add to the structural integrity of the wall. So let's go ahead and if I can reach that, there we go. I can close that. Cool. So that's looking pretty cool. So let's go ahead and add to the structural integrity of the wall by using a prison door. I think that's going to be really cool. So up we go. Oop. Okay. I, I just think it's really cool how we've managed how we've managed to do this. I think it's really cool, like how it's linking from Castle Two to Castle One, and you know we're making like one way escapes and things like that. I I think overall that's that's turning out really really well, and I'm really enjoying that. So let's see what we've got in here. Um, what was I gonna need for that? I was gonna need the prison door. Is it in iron building materials? Do we have one? Yeah, we have like four left in here. So let's go and get uh, let's go get one of those. And then we can literally just place that where we want it. There we go. So let's get back into Castle 2, back into Sable's Sepulchre of Slaying. And we're going to go ahead and uh, finish that bit off. So let's go ahead and come over this way. And come over this way. And let's get back inside the dungeon. But yeah, this is this is pretty cool how we've managed to like... I think just how we managed to link everything up is is really nice. And the castle is slowly but surely coming together. It's looking very cool now. Like, I have to admit, it's it's looking really cool. We're... You know, the for me, the end feels very near now. How how close we are to finishing this castle off. And I'm very, I'm very, very happy with how that is. Uh, I'm very happy with how that's looking. So that is pretty cool. All right. Let's get down here. And there we go. I'm lo I'm loving that tunnel as well, by the way, and how it just just kind of how it all links up. Look at this. Like, they like turn the lights off, and the, the, there's like a couple of torches around there. That looks that looks really creepy. Like you come in here, it's kind of dark, dank, and there's the cells here. I'm loving how this is looking now. And we got all the torture devices down here. Everything's been uh, everything's been filled out. So here we go. So what we're gonna do to finish it off is we're gonna go ahead and place one prison door right there, and then that'll allow us access through to here and then we've also got it's going to look dark for you guys but you know you can see like we've got the flaming torches uh right there and then that will lead over into saber's blood circle of sacrifice which is looking pretty cool now uh, i am going to expand this blood circle room out here in order to have another room because uh i said to jen that i was going to build her something in uh, down here with saber's dungeon as well because you know saber and jen are, are good friends so i think naturally they are going to want some uh, some good stuff down here together so yeah this is uh this is going to be another area that we're going to come out from here and this actually uh, if you see where we're looking right now it's actually going to come 
out um, of the front of the castle here. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna come straight out, which is really good. So we've not got many people left to build for. We got Pan B, Jen, Quality Gaming. We've got Lone Survivor. We've got Pound Too Loud, and we've got uh, Beth uh, Dickinson as well. So not too many people left to build for, and I think that's uh, I think that's pretty good. So. I think, guys, we're at a pretty good point to end off the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one, where hopefully we'll be able to build a couple of other neat little things. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. So until then, 